Okay, so now we look at the example 2. So this question is taken from the final exam question. Okay, mm. so the, the question approximate the change. So uh, there is the word approximate. So we know that this one should be, should be um, uh, we have to use the total differential. Where the function is given, x, uh, y changes, the, uh, the point is changing from 1 to 2 this specific value. Okay. So now we want to check to find out the d df. So um, the function given is um, x squared plus y squared and multiplied by the exponent of xy. So the the point is the uh, xy changes from 1 to set so that is the original value and the new value is um, 98 to 2.01 so now uh, we know that the dx is 0 0.98 minus 1 will give you negative 0 0.02 and dy is from 2.01 minus 2 is uh, 0 0.01 as you can see uh, we know that when there is a negative value so it is decreasing so you can see one to smaller value so it is decreasing for y it is increasing so that's why we got positive there so now about the formula which is total differential so approximate meaning that we want to obtain the the approach the the design to, uh, using total differential so we have uh, you are given a function f so f x dx plus f y dy so in this case you need to differentiate uh, find out the partial derivatives of the function with respect to x so now uh, you have one term, single term, so just x squared plus y squared multiplied by the e to the power of x y. So you need to apply the chain rule. So differentiate the because you can see that your x are uh, inside both of the equation, the equation in the uh, in the uh, bracket and also the equation of the exponential function. Okay, so meaning that you have to um, apply the product rule. So in this case, um your u is x squared plus y squared and then your v is e x y okay so you are dealing with fx differentiate respect to x so you have u x so differentiate x squared you will give you will get 2x and differentiate y squared because y is constant so it is zero and you need to also to obtain something with respect to y so provide the differentiate the u respect to y so this one constant zero and this one becomes 2y and then also for vx differentiate so this is chain rule you have outer function exponent the inner function xy so you need the simple chain rule so differentiate the outer function e xy multiplied by the derivatives of the x y with respect to x so you just have x here this one become one so you have y and then for v y differentiate the outer function you have e x y and then differentiate x y with respect to y you will get only x so you have x okay so then um, the the fx so fx is u x i'm oh, sorry um ux so v ux plus uh, u v x okay so v is e x y ux is 2x plus u so x squared plus y squared uh, v x is y e x y Okay, so that is your fx. And then you, you also need to obtain the fy. 
So for Fy, also the same thing because you have uh, one term but two, uh, the multiplication of two functions. So you need to also obtaining using the uh, product row. So V u now u y plus u v one. So v is e x y, and then multiply by u y will give you two y plus u is x squared plus y squared, and v y is x e x y. Okay, that is your partial derivatives that you need to put into your uh, total differential. So this one will be going good, right? Okay, so now we plug it in. fx is 2x e x y plus y x squared y squared e x y and then multiplied by uh, dx is negative 0 0.02 okay, plus f y. So you have 2y e x y plus x x squared plus y squared e x y and then multiplied by dy is 0 0.01 okay now it's time for you to evaluate so which means that you have to plug in the value of x and y remember i told you from the previous example what is the point, what is the value of x, y that you have to plug it in here? You have to always put the original. Okay, you have to put x equal to 1, y equal to 2. So, you have to remember that. Okay, so once you substitute, so be careful when you are evaluating. And finally, that is the answer. So, if the question asking for 4 decimal places, then you have to leave 4 decimal places. But if they don't, then it's up to you but normally for decimal places it's fine so if that is the answer provided or you can just use this one okay so that is about the total differential okay another example uh why where we have um so just now about increment so we we can also you can also compute the rate of change um, which you need to apply the partial derivatives. So for example, you are given this particular uh, problem. And so this is more to physics. Okay. So the volume of a gas is related to its temperature and its pressure. So you are given a gas and T temperature, P pressure, where the, the formula which is about the gas law is PV equal to 20. So V is measured in kbh. So they give all the units. P in a pound per square inch and temperature T is in degree Celsius. So the T is constant which is given by 200 and the question here is what is the rate of change? So the rate of change so the rate of change of pressure with respect to volume. So the word of rate of change once you see the word of rate of rate of change um something uh, del okay del so pressure so del p uh, with respect to so divided by with respect to uh, volume which is del v so del p over del v means the rate of change of the pressure with respect to volume so that is the thing that we are looking for and then what is the information provided to us? So they give you the value of uh, temperature is um, 200. And what else? So also the volume provided V is at uh, 50. So now uh, the function given to you is PV equal to 10 T. So uh, if you want to leave your answer in this form, because later you need to differentiate P with respect to V, right? Meaning that now if you leave your expression in this form, meaning that you have to uh, differentiate implicitly because you have the combination P and V on the same uh, uh, expression, the term. Or you can also rewrite 
if it is possible to be simplified, you can also have this one tan t over v. So you have just an explicit function. The part, the um, the pressure is in terms of t v. Okay, or you can have this one as well. So let's say if you want to have the explicit function where only p on the left and the rest are on the right uh, hand side. So now you you we want to differentiate because you can see from this um function p it is depending on the temperature and v so there are two variables right so now meaning that if you want to differentiate p you have to use del because uh, p there are two variables for p t and v okay so now how can you obtain the del p over del v del p over del v so you are differentiating the function here with respect to v so the t here constant so what you can do is because now uh, you have 10 t now you can also rewrite into this form so then you just differentiate so you have negative 10 t v minus 2 or you can have minus 10 t over v squared so that is your derivatives of p with respect to v and now you want to evaluate this rate of change so now you need to uh, substitute the value of t and the value of v and you will get the value so by substituting the value t so negative 10 t is 200 divided by v volume is 50 so 50 squared so then when you compute then it will give you minus 4 over 5 so this is about the rate of change so if you have the rate if the rate of change is negative meaning that the uh, the process or the maybe the yeah the process of that particular the gas okay so it is uh, become it is reducing reduced because you have a negative means become slower and so slower and slower but if you have positive so the the process um i mean the process of the gas becomes uh, uh increase and increase right but you have negative so it become reducing so that is about the rate of change Okay, which is you can uh, you can also evaluate the rate of change using partial derivatives. Okay, so um, there is another thing that I have to share with you, which is about the uh, percentage changes and relative changes. So I will explain that on the next video, and and also I will uh, upload a few material. Okay, about the for that particular problem.